That's our family tree. For Elizabeth Sycon, nothing is more important than this. Abigail, what are you playing with? Are you drawing? Time with family. Hmm? Is that it? But two years ago, when she was just 28, her world turned upside down. When I would take a big bite out of a hamburger or a sandwich, and I tried to open up my mouth, you know, for a big bite, um, that it was painful. Elizabeth went to doctor after doctor. Finally, they noticed something. When he looked inside my mouth is when he saw the tumor, but at the time he just said, Maybe it's just tonsillitis. She was sent home with medicine, but nothing seemed to work. After more tests, doctors told Elizabeth she had oral cancer. I was given a 19% chance if I didn't go through the radical surgery. She's very fortunate. She's very fortunate. Dr. Stuart Kalma says Elizabeth's case is rare. Oral cancer normally strikes older men and smokers. The surgical procedures to actually remove a tumor or lesion can, uh, you know, can sometimes involve, uh, you know, damage to nerves, damage to your tongue. Elizabeth went through weeks of chemo, radiation, and eventually surgery at MD Anderson in Houston. I just knew, okay, I had battle this and, and be here for my three daughters. It was her faith and family that gave her strength. She was on a feeding tube for months and fought to regain her speech. That's it, Mr. Monty. I always thought a visible, you know, tubers that you saw coming out of your neck or, you know, on top of your head. I, I didn't think to correlate in between, you know, in the mouth. Now she wants others to know cancer can show up anywhere even in a young mom whose life is just beginning.